Hello, Turbo Girl. Nice to see you again. Hello, teacher. What am I going to learn today? Well, today's lesson is on percentage. Ready to start? Sure. Please start the lesson. What do you know about percentage, Turbo Girl? One hundred percent represents the entire quantity. So sixty percent is sixty over one hundred. Correct. It means sixty out of one hundred. We shall now learn how to express a quantity as a percentage of another. Turbo Boy had one dollar and he spent fifty cents. What percentage of his money did he spend, Turbo Girl? You must remember to change one dollar into cents. Okay, one dollar equals to one hundred cents. So fifty cents out of one hundred cents in percentage is fifty over one hundred times one hundred percent, which is equals to fifty percent. That's right. You have just expressed one quantity as a percentage of another. You have to always identify the base first, which in this case is one dollar. The base is the amount of money that Turbo Boy had initially. Let's look at another example. Express thirty minutes as a percentage of two hours. Turbo Girl, try to do this. Sure, two hours is one hundred twenty minutes. Which is the base? So, thirty out of one hundred and twenty minutes in percentage is thirty over one hundred and twenty times one hundred percent, which is twenty-five percent. Good. Let's move on to something slightly different. Look at the question. Ali has twenty marbles. He lost four of his marbles. Find the percentage decrease in the marbles, Turbo Girl. Well. Ali now has four less marbles, so the decrease in the number of marbles is four. Therefore, four out of twenty in percentage is four over twenty times one hundred percent, which is equals to twenty percent. I know the percentage decrease in marbles is twenty percent. Let's try one more question. The electricity charges for January were one hundred and twenty. In February. The charges went up to hundred and fifty. What is the percentage increase in the electricity charges from January to February? The increase in electricity charges is thirty dollars. The base is the initial charge of one hundred and twenty dollars. So thirty over one hundred and twenty dollars times one hundred percent is twenty-five percent. Thus, the percentage increase in the electricity charges from January to February is twenty-five percent. Now, we shall learn how to find the whole when given a part and a percentage. Okay. David spent forty percent of his money on a belt. And he had thirty-six dollars left. How much money did he have at first? Ah, I shall draw the model to guide me. That's a good practice, Turbo Girl. He had one hundred minus forty, which is equals to sixty percent of his money left, which is thirty-six dollars. So, one percent of his money is thirty-six divided by sixty, which is sixty cents. Therefore, he would have sixty cents times one hundred, which is sixty dollars at first. Very good. Turbo Boy bought a turbo suit for twenty dollars. He saved the rest of his money, which was eighty percent of the money he had at first. Turbo Girl, can you help us find how much money Turbo Boy had at first? Okay, good. One hundred percent minus eighty percent is twenty percent. Twenty percent represents twenty dollars. Therefore, one percent represents one dollar. So, one hundred percent is one dollar times one hundred, which gives us one hundred dollars. Turbo Boy had one hundred dollars at first. Very good, Turbo Girl. 
we shall try to solve more challenging work problems. Doreen bought a dress for $100 and spent 10% of the remainder on toiletries and saved the rest. She managed to save $90. How much did she have initially, Turbo Girl? Taking the remaining portion as a whole, 100%, 100% minus 10% is 90%. Therefore, 90% of the remainder is $90. 1% is 90 divided by 90, which is $1. So 100% is $1 times 100, which gives us $100. Hence, the amount that she had at first is $100 plus $100, which is $200. Very good. Now, try another problem. In a class, 30% of the pupils wear spectacles. 25% of the pupils who wear spectacles are girls. If 28 pupils do not wear spectacles, how many boys wear spectacles in the class, Turbo Girl? Since 30% of the pupils wear spectacles, that means that 70% of them do not. Thus, 70% represents 28, and 1% is 28 over 70. So, 30% is 30 times 28 over 70, which is equal to 12. So, 12 pupils do not wear spectacles. 75% of those who wear spectacles are boys. So, 75 over 100 times 12 equals to 9. Therefore, 9 boys wear spectacles. Excellent, Turbo Girl. Turbo Girl, what have you learnt today? I have learnt how to express a quantity as a percentage of another. Firstly, I express the quantity as a fraction of another. And then I multiply the fraction by 100%. I have also learnt how to find a whole when given a part and a percentage. I draw a model to help me visualize the problem. I then make use of the information and knowledge of percentage to find the separate parts. And finally, I add them together to find the whole. Good job, Turbo Girl. See you again in the next lesson. Goodbye.